All right, dinner is honey maple glazed salmon. And this is so easy to make. You just whip up the glaze, brush on the salmon, toss it under the grill in the oven, under the broiler, done. Look at that. It just comes with just this delicious sauce, which is uh, maple syrup, honey, a little bit of that whole grain mustard. Mm. Oh, that's just that's just fantastic. Let's go in the kitchen and make some of this right now. All right, here we have the ingredients for making our honey maple glazed salmon. First of all, of course, the salmon. And what we have here is about a pound or 450 grams of uh, salmon. I think it's just a little bit over. That's fine. And this is salmon filet. And uh, what I've done is patted it dry with a paper towel. You sort of pat it dry so it easily takes on the glaze. And then place it here. I've placed it in this little temporary pan, um, skin side up, because we're going to flip that afterwards into the grilling pan, skin side down. Now, of course, there's no skin, but what would usually be your skin. Now, for the glaze itself, I have here three tablespoons of maple syrup. And this is the robust maple syrup. We want the darker one with lots of flavor to it. And then also have three tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Two tablespoons of freshly melted butter. We just melted that right now. Two tablespoons of honey. In this case, I'm going with a lighter honey, so more of the maple flavor, but you could... Uh, Play around with different honeys like a buckwheat or something like that give it more of a honey flavor too and then um, we're going to sprinkle on top is uh, one teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt so first let's make the glaze in a small bowl we're just going to put in the uh, mustard the maple syrup and the butter the honey and then all I do is just use a you use a mini whisk or a small fork and just kind of blend that up okay once it's combined we're going to take a brush and just first of all we're just going to brush this back side of the uh, salmon just liberally brush it on there. All right. And then about half of the salt. Just sprinkle that on a bit. And about half of the pepper. The other half's going to go on the top side when we go to do that. All right, so that's one side done. Let's bring our grill pan in place. All I'm gonna do now is take these. Now we want the, see there's the lines in the grill pan, okay? We want them going crossways to the fish. So grab this and flip it, glaze side down. All right, we can get that out of the way. And now, liberally glazing this side. Just slather it on there. Because if it pours down around the sides, that's fine. Basically, we want to use up most of the glaze for this uh, first slathering. We are going to bring this salmon back out of the oven after it's been cooking for a while and just glaze it a bit more. But that's just going to need a little bit, so let's get quite liberal here. Let it pour down around. You know, if we got any that's uh, pouring down around the edges, that's fine because that's all going to cook and we're going to use that afterwards when we serve up our fish. All right, now the rest of the pepper. Let's divvy that up between these. Oops, a little heavy on that one. Well, that'll be fine. And the rest of the salt. Oh, perfect timing. So that's our uh, oven has just been heating up the broiler. We're going to put this underneath the broiler, close to the broiler, and broil this 
for 10 minutes. So I shall see you in 10 minutes where we come back and check this for doneness and embroil it just a little bit more. All right, those salmon have been in the oven under the broiler for about, uh, well, for exactly <laughs> 10 minutes. And let's have a look. They look quite done, but what we what do is we take the fork test and just kind of flake a piece open. And we can see inside. Oh yeah, see it's all flaking nicely? So that's basically done. What we do now, we're gonna grill this just a little bit more, mainly more for flavor on top and uh, to get that the uh, glaze on there so the glaze may have separated a little bit what's sitting here so just give it a quick stir and then let's slather some more on there you guys might have noticed that um the brush i'm using if anybody can read japanese this is actually not a cooking brush this is a painting brush that they use for uh any water-based paints but uh, obviously this one has never been used for painting a house or any of that I like it for cooking because it just got the nice angle to it. I think uh, maybe over the years I got used to using this kind of brush and uh, you know we use this a lot in construction here and so I really like it and it just does a good job. So as long as you save it for food only products it's fine. All right there we go basically we got that's good and uh, lots of uh, glaze. Let's just pour the rest in around the edges here and let it cook it's gonna cook for a couple minutes in there and then we can use that in our dinner all right i'm gonna put this in for another five minutes under the broiler and then we'll serve it up all right that's been another five minutes now you can see the uh the glazed sauce in there is bubbling Mwah. this is perfect right now so what we're gonna do serve one up Get a nice plate. Let's uh, let's get this guy here. So he look, he looks like on a plate. Oh yeah. Put that on the plate, and then grab a spoon and just spoon some of that bubbling sauce on there. So just kind of spoon it over it. Let it pour onto the plate. That's going to be absolutely delicious. It's just full of uh, honey and maple syrup and some of that. Uh, whole grain mustard all right that's about enough for one piece we'll save the rest for the uh, other pieces here perfect there we go all right honey maple glazed salmon for dinner tonight enjoy now if you go to the link appearing on the screen you can get the free printable recipe for honey maple glazed salmon on our website so go print out the recipe have fun making and eating this delicious treat and make cooking fun again with kuma's kitchen